Hi guys, so welcome back to the ride. So in today's uh, video, we're going to discuss this chapter 15 of machine design, which is all about gears. So as you can see, uh, meron time part one uh, that is about spur and helical. And of course, we have a part two, which is for uh, bevel and warm gears. Kasi meron lang naman talagang apat na basic type of gears na dini discuss. Uh, of course, dito sa machine design. So we're going to answer, of course, passport exam like problems. And I'm sorry if uh, ngayon lang uli nakapag-upload ng videos. Or ng video kasi medyo busy tayo sa work. Pero kapag may chances naman talaga ay sinisikap kong makapag-upload. So I hope makatulong sa atin to, sa ating review, sa ating quiz o kung saan man, saan mo man ito gagamitin. So let us start. And of course, bago tayo magsagot ng problems, we need to review some definitions and formulas. So ano nga ba si gears? So si gears daw ay... Gears are mechanisms that mesh together via teeth and are used to transmit rotary motion from one shaft to another. So gears are defined by two important items, and that is the radius and its number of teeth. So si gear daw ay mechanisms that mesh together via teeth via teeth and are used to transmit rotary motion so kapag sinabing to transmit andiyan na agad papasok ang word na power so uh, si gears is basically part of the uh, power transmitting element kagaya nila wire ropes nila belts ayan so on and so forth so from one shaft to another. Transmit rotary motion from one shaft to another. So gears are defined daw by two important items and that is the radius and the number of teeth. So makikita natin sa mga formula kung talagang kailang-kailangan itong si spar. Ah, kung itong si radius and the number of teeth. So we have this first type which is the spar gears. So I will not uh, discuss anymore talaga kung uh, ano ba yung pinagkaiba ng mga gears. So yung definition, nomenclatures, siguro konti lang. Pero computation kasi talaga ang pinaka-main purpose dito. Kasi nga sa board exam. So yung mga terminologies kayo na bahala guys. Okay. So palitan ko lang ink. So first we are going to discuss the spar gears. So si spar gears, uh, ito siya uh, as straight and parallel to the shop axis. And they are used to transmit motion and power without slippage between parallel. Shop. So talagang sa industrial use, pinakagamitin si spar gears. Okay? So we have this formula. As you can see, familiar naman ang mga letters. We have the N for speed, D for diameter, N sub T for the number of teeth, F for force, T for torque, and so on and so forth. Okay, so saan tayo magsisimula? So we have these two uh, mesh gears. Ito ang sample talaga ng spar gears. Na wala silang angle, unlike the helical the, uh, and the bevel. So, ito siya si pinion, yung laging maliit. And of course, this is the gear. And lagi yan, yung uh, speed netong pinion, sabi natin siya si NA, siya ay laging mas mabilis sa speed ng gear, of course. So, this is NB. No, lalagay ko sana P and G kaso as you can see ang subscript ng letters ay A and B. So take as uh, this gear as letter A and take this gear or bigger gear as the letter B. So this is the pinion, always the driver and the gear is always the driven. Okay, so uh, of course meron siyang diameter na DA. Ayan, so pinakabilog niya. Ayan, yan, yan, yan. So that was the pitch diameter na tinatawag. So nomenclatures will be discussed on some slides. And of course, we have this diameter B of this uh, uh, driven gear or the gear. Of course, meron din siyang sariling pitch diameter. Alright, so since meron silang ad. Uh, uh, diameters, of course, sila rin ay may tinatawag na center distance. Okay. 
So, center distance, namimit naman natin yan palagi. So, center distance, of course, is the average of this uh, two diameters, which is dA plus dB divided by 2. Or simply, the radius of this uh, gear plus the radius of this gear. So, sabi natin RB and RA. So, that was the center distance. So, kaya binukod ko yung sulat kasi hindi ko na-type sa formula. And, ayun. For, proceed na tayo sa mga formula. Of course, ang sabi kanina, important items, radius and number of teeth. Ayan. Merong speed diameter relation. Tsaka speed and teeth relation. So, how about the speed diameter relation? It is simply the product of the speed of the pinion the product of the diameter and speed of the pinion, so letter A, equivalent to the product of the speed and diameter of the gear. Okay, so ganun lang kandali. NADA is equal to NBDB. So how about the speed teeth relation? So just replace this diameter by the number of teeth. Okay, so NT means the number of teeth. Okay, so that's the number of teeth. And of course, hindi mawawala ang force kasi nga meron tayong tinransmit na power. So si tangential force is equivalent to Ft is equal to 2T over D. So this formula ay ilang beses na natin nagamit from the past chapters or past topics. Of course, this T, syempre may power, meron ding torque. And of course, this D is of course, our diameter. Siyempre, kung Newton mm on torque mo at mm on diameter mo, so you have a force of Newton and ang kapag torque mo is pounds inch, dapat ang diameter mo is in inch para magkaroon ka ng pounds. Okay, so aside from tangential force, of course, we have the radial force. Fr is equal to Ft tangent, uh, ano bang tawag na, uh, angle yan. So, that was the pressure angle na tinatawag. Okay? Kasi sabi na natin, ah, saan ba pwede mag-drawing? Okay, so ano yun na lang natin? So, kunyari, meron tayo, ito yung intersection ng gears. Okay, so of course, meron dyan force kasi nagkikiskisan yung kanilang mga ngipin. Of course, at the point of contact, meron tayong tiyatawag na forces. And these uh, forces, now, of course, this is the tangential force. And syempre, meron dyan, that was the radial force na tinatawag. And of course, may nabubuong angle dyan, and that was the pressure angle. That's why merong angle dito. So kapag nag-drawing ka ng triangle, so dito na lang lagay. So that was FR and FT. Of course, meron tayong mabubuong triangle by use of this angle. So this is the pressure angle. Of course, tangent, theta is equal to uh, sine over cosine. So this is your Ft over Fr. Ft over Fr. So tangent is equal to Fr over Ft. So that was F, uh, FR over FT. Na medyo nalit. Ah, dito pala dapat ang kakaburay natin. Okay. So ang pressure angle will be... Teka. Uh, parang balik na. Clear lang natin para hindi tayo magkalituhan. Ah, okay, okay. So that's it. That's it. Ayan, yan. So, okay. So, of course, at point of contact, again, kunyari yun, at point of contact. So, magkadikit yan, ha? medyo ilalayo ko lang in order for us to see the illustration of the forces. So, we have this uh, tangential force here. Ayan. 
and we have this FR here and of course at the point of contact may nabubuong angle which is dito pala yung uh, pressure angle. So kaya pala nung triangle ako kanina baliktad. So that will be tangent theta of course is equal to sine over cosine so that was FR over FT. Kaya naging FR is equal to FT tangent of the pressure angle. Of course kapag may two forces na nabuo which is from horizontal and vertical meron tayong resultant force and of course that is the square root of the square of the two forces so dapat wala na tong square na to kasi naka square root ka na dito at kung may square ka man diyan of course wala na dapat si square root so that was the resultant force again sa spar gears we have the tangential the radial and the resultant force and at the point of contact i drawing ko na rin dito and dito siya magtatagpo we have the ft we have the FR and of course, meron siyang angle of contact okay, or the pressure angle. Okay, so the, in the questions um, for the board exam, usually given naman yung pressure angle. At kung hinahanap siya, dapat makuha natin yung dalawang forces. Okay, meron naman torque na given dito at kung may diameter, so you can solve the tangential force. And of course, solve mo naman yung radial force and ayan makukuha na natin yung pressure angle. Okay. So this is the nomenclature para sa spar gears. So masyado siyang madami. So I'm not going to discuss one by one. Pero ang pinaka ah, what you call that? Pinaka importante lang naman dito. Nabukod dito sa pressure angle. Yan. Lagyan ko na asterisk yung mga importante. Of course, itong two thickness. Circular pitch uh, root diameter, hindi. So, si working depth. So, sa ibang slides, makikita naman natin may formula yan. Depende kung anong pressure angle ang inahanap. Si wool depth yan, importante. Si addendum, si dedendum. Center distance, of course, as discussed earlier. Si pitch circle, hindi masyado. Sino pa ba? Dapat si circular pitch tapos si diametral pitch. So, kita ba siya dito? So, hindi. Si pitch diameter lang ang kita. So, for the definition of this uh, terminology, so kayo na lang bahal na dyan. Sa masyado matagal pag diniscuss natin to isa-isa. And I know uh, you are already familiar sa mga to. So, dito na lang tayo kumuha. So, yun. Parang pinaliit lang natin yung uh, drawing kanina. So, this is the addendum, the addendum that is represented by small a and small d respectively. So, kapag pinagsama natin si a as addendum and addendum, so ito siya. So, makakalikha tayo ng tinatawag na wool depth. So, where's the wool depth here? Nakalagay ba? So, wala. So, so twice daw ng addendums Yan daw yung working depth. So kapag tinwise natin to, that will be working depth. So siguro mga bandang dito. Okay. So we have this B as the face width. Ayan siya. Yung lapad ng ipen. Okay. So this is the top land. And we have this PC which is the circular pitch. So kaninang drawing wala ito. So that was the circular pitch. And obviously, that is equivalent to two thickness and the width of space. So two thickness is represented by T sub T. And with, uh, space width is represented by Ts. Okay, so we have this clearance. So pag sinabing clearance, ayan, so parang ano siya eh, mm, addendum minus, no, 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 dedendum minus addendum. And this diametral pitch, nasa yung diametral pitch dito. So, wala. So, may formula naman tayo dyan. And of course, BL as the backlash. So, kung wala sa drawing itong mga to, makikita naman natin dito sa formula. What is the definition? Of course, we have the circular pitch. Uh, we have the circular pitch. That is equivalent to, dito yung circular pitch, pi d over t 
we all know that pi d is the circumference of the circle. And in this case, that is the circumference of the pitch circle. And yan, divided by the number of peaks. And as you can see, kanina siyabi ko nga, obviously, circular pitch is also equivalent to the tooth space or space width plus the tooth thickness, as you can see on the drawing. So kapag walang given na ito, pwede natin makuha si circular pitch as TS plus TT. Okay, so aside from the circular pitch, we have the so-called diametral pitch. So that is the ratio naman ng number of teeth over the diameter. And just reciprocate it. So makakuha tayo ng tiyatawag na module, which is always in metric or SI. So that was D over T. And we all know that uh, kung mapapansin nyo, kapag pinag-multiply natin yung PC tsaka yung PD, makakancel si, si number of teeth, pati si diameter, ang matitira is pi. So the product of the circular pitch and diametral pitch is equal to pi. And of course, we have this backlash, which is the difference of the tooth space minus the tooth thickness. So meaning, the tooth space should be always greater than the tooth thickness. Okay, so yan. Yan yung mga formula ang gagamitin natin. Mamaya sa pag-solve ng mga problems sa gears. And of course, kung kanina, kung natatandaan nyo, may nasabi akong mga formula sa mga working depth, addendum, dedendum, depende sa uh, pressure angle. So, this is a standard gear tooth proportions from James and Doughty. So, kahit hindi nyo naman kabisaduin ito, kasi minsan uh, kapag nakabisa nyo talaga yung nomenclature, you can derive this one, pero... As sabihin ko sa inyo, ang common talaga na tinatanong sa board is kapag ang pressure angle is 14 one half. So just take these formulas. No? Medyo kabisaduin nyo lang kung kakayanin pero may uh, suggestion is just memorize the addendum, the deadendum, clearance, working depth, total depth. So two thickness siguro at saka two space. So itong outside and delay, so hindi na masyadong tinatanong yan. So, si addendum naman, yeah, si addendum naman, sabi daw is, so 14.5 ito ah. So, si addendum naman is 1 over PD. Si addendum is 1.157 over the diametral pitch. So, si clearance naman, kahit din yung nakabisaduin, lagi naman yung uh, addendum minus the addendum. So that was 1.157 minus 1. So that will be one, uh, 0.157 PD over diametral pitch. Siyempre si uh, working depth, we all know that working depth na lang. Is, uh, we all know that the twice of the addendum. So that was 2 over PD. And si total depth, alam natin na that was A plus B. So that will become 1 plus 1.57. So that was 2.57. 157 over PD. And si tooth thickness and si tooth space. Ayan. Parehas lang ng formula. So, etong 1.5708 over PD. Mapapakita natin derivation nito mamaya along uh, the solutions or along when we are answering the solutions on the problem later. So, just memorize this addendum and deadendum. Mga kabisa mo na yung clearance, working depth, si total depth, and ito, tooth thickness, and the tooth space. So, not that complicated. So, basta ka, uh, kabisado mo lang yung nomenclature. Okay. So, sa helical gears. Yeah. So, meron tayong tinatawag na helical gears. Now, kanina kung meron tayong spar gear, ito yung pinaka-second common talaga, which is the helical gear. And as you can see, you no know, guys, sa kanyang uh, drawing, meron siyang uh, angle talaga. No, hindi kagaya dun sa spar gear, parallel talaga ang kanyang pagkakamesh. Ito talaga ay may angle na tinatawag. So that was the helical angle na tinatawag. So that was uh, symbolized by this, uh, of course, this symbol. Hindi ko alam tawag dito sa symbol na ito. Pero yan yung helix angle niya. So, Kahit ano naman gamitin nyo, basta kung saan kayo magiging mas komportable. 
Basta yun yung angle na bida kapag usapang helical gear. Si helix angle. So, sa spar si uh, pressure angle siya. Ayan, kanina. So, ito naman si helix angle. So, helical gears have teeth which are cut in the form of helix about an axis of rotation. So, they are used to connect parallel and non-parallel shaft. So, that was the basic definition of this helical gear. And ang sabi, can be run at faster speeds, quieter and can sustain greater tangential loads than spar gears. Yun yung talaga pinakabida sa kanya. No, na mas faster ang kanyang speed, mas tahimik daw ang, uh, ang setup. So, siguro less vibration and can sustain greater tangential loads. Okay? So, that was the... Uh, yung itsura ng or setup ng helical gears. So, we have, of course, forces again. This FT, tangential, FR radial. Ito, bago. Kapag usapang gear. Kaya kung may box dito, may kita natin mamaya kung paano gamitin ito. So, kung may radial and tangential sa spar gears, of course, we have this axial force na madadagdag sa helical gear. Of course, we have this FR as the resultant force. Yan, pressure angle, normal circular pitch, and the helix angle. So, ano nga ba tong drawing na to, eh, setup na to? So, this is the intersection, of course, of the two helical mesh uh, gears. And dito natin makikita na doon papasok si uh, tangential load or tangential force. And doon naman din papasok si uh, FA, which is the axial force. So kung kanina FR and FT sa uh, FR and FT sa intersection ng spar, dito mo sa helical FT and FA. Pero saan natin makikita si radial force, saan makikita yung resultant force, at saan makikita itong mga angle na ito. So I drew a box here. I drew a box here. No? Uh, siguro masabi natin is, it is a rectangular parallel pipe that can represent this three basic forces of the helical gear. So, kagaya sa drawing, we have this FT. So, magiging pailalim naman si dito. And of course, we have this FA. And syempre, ang dyan si radial force. Okay? So, saan papasok yung mga angle dyan? So, unahin muna natin si resultant force. Of course, result, resultant force, lagi naman yung square root ng mga squares ng sum of the other load. So, that is basically FA squared plus FR squared plus. Uh, sa taas na nga. Teka. Ba't ka ba dyan nagsusulat? Yes. <laughs> so that was FR squared is... Yeah. So that was FA squared plus FT squared plus... FR squared. Yan. Square root ng mga square ng loads. So, tatlo yan. FR, FA, and FT. And, paano nga ba yung... Saan natin makikita muna yung resultant for? So, pwede natin... If, if this is a cube or a rectangular, rectangular parallel pipe, so, sabi natin cube na lang siguro. So, syempre, siya yung space diagonal. Okay? So, that was... Okay, so that was the resultant force, of course. And of course, FA and FT. So, pwede nating magawa ng triangle dito. So, that, so in that way, mabubuo natin dyan yung helix angle, as you can see here. It's so FA and FT yan. So, FA and FT. Pwede mo rin naman imagine na nandito si FA. Okay, so that was FA and FT, so helix angle. So saan natin makikita naman si uh, pressure angle, pati na rin si normal pressure angle. So this is pressure angle, guys, sorry. Nilagyan lang ng N kasi nga perpendicular. So that was pressure angle, and this is the normal pressure angle. So saan natin sila makikita? Okay, so of course, kung si FA and FT ay may relationship na, because of this helix angle, may kita natin mga sa formulas. Siyempre, dapat meron din si FR and tsaka si FT. So, ibahin ko na lang siguro yung tinta. Uh, 
ay maklik pag lapis lang gamit ko. So, gamitan na natin ng orange. Black kasi yung background. May ligis siya ko sa ano, combination ng dark and light. So, doon natin makikita si pressure angle. So, that was the relationship of FR and FT. So, gawa ka ng linya dito. Natog eh. Pasmado. So, that was... Ayan. So, ito naman si pressure angle. So, ngayon, ito namang diagonal from here to here because of the relationship of FA and FT. So, ito naman yung magkakaroon ng angle which is the normal pressure angle. Okay. So, pakitandaan lang yung mga relationship. So, maintindihan mo itong mga formulas na i-discuss natin. Okay. Of course, uh, already derived earlier, this is the resultant force. Again, dapat wala na siyang square dito kasi naka-square root na. And of course, walang kamatayang 2T over Dini, tangential force. So, kailangan mo talaga maintindihan ang foundation ng spar gear or the first basic type of gear in order for you to be familiarized in the next three types of the uh, gears. No, lalo dito sa helical, medyo komplikado kasi involved na si axial force. May involved pa na normal pressure angle unlike kay spar, pressure angle lang. Tapos involved din dito si helix angle. And of course, since involved si helix angle, so we have this F A and F T, so that was the axial force or the axial load that is equivalent to F A is equal to F T tangent of the helix angle. So kung naga naalala nyo kanina, ah yung cube, ayan. So si F A at si F T. So dito pa pasok yung helix angle or pwede na nating sabi ng dito. So that was F A is equal to F T times tangent of the helix angle. And of course, si radial load, kagaya lang ng sa spar gear, that was FR is equal to FT tangent of the pressure angle. So, nasan ba si FR at si FT? So, sabihin natin dito na lang si FR. So, that was FR and FT. Okay. Tama ba? Aha. Uh -huh. FR is equal to FT tangent alpha. Pares ba dito? Ayan, FR is equal to FT times tangent of pressure angle. So, ayan. Pares dito. So, this is the radial force. Okay. So, meron naman tayong introduce na bagong formula. So, meron tayong tatlo. Pag nakuha na natin to at kapag tinatanong si resultant force, so, makukuha na natin to by uh, getting the square root of the square of these three forces. And this, para makuha naman, bawat tinatanong na bukod yung normal pressure angle, we have a relationship that is tangent pressure, uh, tangent of normal pressure angle is equivalent to the product of tangent of the pressure angle and the cosine of the helix angle. So as you can see on this diagram naman, Kapag tinatanong si normal circular pitch, which is represented by PCN, so makikita naman natin na there is a relationship between the circular pitch and the normal circular pitch here that is uh, involved by the helix angle. So this is simply the normal circular pitch is equivalent to the product of circular pitch, of course, and the cosine of the helix angle. So kapag hinahanap si normal pressure angle dito at given naman si pressure angle, So, makukuha naman si cosine of helix angle by the ratio of PCN over PC. Okay? So, pwede natin ganyan din. Ganyan din. So, makukuha na natin si cosine helix angle. So, that as the ratio of the normal circular pitch over the circular pitch. Okay? So, ito lang naman tatanda ang mga formula. Tatlo lang naman. So, itong tangential radial kagaya lang sa spar kasi involved naman si pressure angle. Tapos sa axial force, dagdag mo lang by the use of the tangent of the helix angle. Ayan, makakuha mo na sa resultant and siguro just memorize this one. 
and this one. So yun, konti lang naman, medyo, pero medyo komplikado sa helical. Pero sabi ko nga kanina, basta kabisado mo si spar, that was basic na. Okay, so usad na tayo sa pag uh, sagot ng mga problems. Okay. So may hawak akong papel kung naririnig nyo. <laughs> Siyempre may mga scratch tayo para hindi na rin magubos oras kung ano man yung mga sasagutan natin. Okay, so number one, find the tooth thickness on the pitch circle of a 14.5 degree full depth tooth of 12 diameter pitch. So the solution here is, so the uh, question is looking for the tooth thickness of a 14.5 degree. So, and ang sabi kanina, ang tooth thickness daw sa so 14.5 degree is ito siya. 1.5708 over diametral pitch. So that was So that was 1.5708 divided by, so ang sabi, 12 daw ang diametral pitch. So that was 1.5708 divided by 12. So that was 1.309 inches. So obviously the answer is letter D. Pero di ba kayo nagtataka, saan ba nakuha si 1.5708 over PD. We all know that the circular pitch is also equivalent to pi d over 3 and also equivalent to the sum of the tooth space and the tooth thickness. So this is tooth thickness and tooth space. Pero kapag ang problem walang binanggit na value ng kung ano dyan, we uh, may take that the t, t is equal to ts. Why? Kanina napansin nyo sa chart, di ba? Parehas. So, pwede natin maging assumption dito yan without knowing this formula. So, we all know that PC will become, sabihin na natin 2TT kasi TT is equal to TS. Okay? And we all know that PC is equal to uh, pi D over T pero meron din tayong relationship kanina ng circular pitch and the diametral pitch which is the product of PC and PD is equivalent to pi. Meaning, we may take that PC is equal to pi over PD. Okay? And it is also equivalent to the twice of the two thickness. Meaning, guys, two, twice ng two thickness is equal to pi over PD, pi over 2PD, and we all know that pi over 2 is 1.5708. PD. The same ba guys? 1.5708 over PD. Okay? So without knowing this formula, we can derive. Basta alam lang natin kabisado ang formulas. Okay? That's why my channel is derived. So joke lang. So okay, proceed to the second question. A gear set having a gear ratio of 3 is to be used at a center distance of 10 inches. If the gear has 60 teeth, what must be the circular pitch in each. So, ano yung kukunin muna natin? So, sabi, the circular pitch. Actually, guys, kahit walang sabihing pressure angle dito, eto naman kasi, hindi naman, yung first question naman, hindi tayo dumipende kung saan mang uh, angle yung derivation natin kanina. Of course, this formula nakita natin sa chart, pero this derivation, itong derivation na to, itong bilog na to, wala akong ginamita ng pressure angle dyan. So, nag-arrive tayo of the same problem, meaning, uh, the same formula, meaning we can use this one also. Since this is uh, this is looking for circular pitch, we may say that PC also is equal to uh, twice daw ng tooth thickness, which is ginamit natin dito. At pwede rin naman nating uh, sabihin na PC also is equal to twice ng to thickness natin is pi over 2 PD. So that was so that was pi PD. Okay. So parang nangyari nyan 
Tama ba? No, no, no. PD na sa ilalim. <laughs> o nga pala. Ayan. And, ayan. Okay. So, pwede natin gamitin yan. PC is equal to pi over PD. Or pwede rin natin gamitin si PC is equal to uh, pi D over T. Depende sa given. Yeah, so ano muna nga ba ang given? So a gear set having a gear ratio of 3 is to be used as center distance of 10 inches. If the gear has 60 teeth, what must be the circular pitch? So sabi circular pitch na ano, pinion or gear. So since sinabi ang huling term is gear, so that was the circular pitch of the gear. Meaning we need to find the diameter of the gear. Kaso may given lang na gear ratio of Three. Okay. So, pwede natin sabihin that the gear ratio, pag sabihin gear ratio, it is also equivalent to uh, the ratio of the two diameters. So, it, ibig sabihin, 3 is equal to the diameter of the pinion, sabihin natin diameter of A, uh, diameter ng gear pala, kasi kailangan mas malaki lagi si diameter ng gear since Letter B ang representation kanina sa drawing. So that was DB over DA. So that was the equation 1. So ang equation 2 naman natin sa nating kukun. So meron tayong tinatawag na... Ang tinatawag tayo na center distance. So center distance is the average of the two gears. So that was DA plus DB over 2. So, that was 10 times 2. Correct na natin. DA plus DB. So, that was DA plus DB is equal to 20. So, that was our second equation. So, pwede natin sabihin that this DB is equal to thrice down ng DA. So, pasok natin si DA here. DA plus 3DA is equal to 20, meaning 4DA is equal to 20. So, DA is 5 inches daw. Kaso, DA is the pinion diameter, but we are looking for the DB as the gear diameter. So, we can uh, use this as 3 times 5, so that was 15 inches. And kinuha 3 times 5, so that was 3 times DA, and your DA is 5 here. So, solve na tayo, guys. We have this pi times 15 over total number of teeth, which is sabi dito 60. So, kanina, guys, sorry kung medyo narito pa kayo dito. Ang akin lang, kapag may ganitong setup, kagaya ng sa number 1, at pwede namang gamitin sa 2 or sa consecutive questions, uh, you may use this one. Pero nakita ko kasi, given pala si number of teeth, ala ko hindi. So, makukuha natin si circular pitch. Napaka makapangyari na itong circular pitch. Ang daming equivalent na formulas. So that was 15 pi divided by 60. And that was 15 pi divided by 60. So that was 0 0.7854. So obviously the answer is letter B. Okay. So sa so number 3, find the two thickness of a gear. If the diameter pitch is force, pwede natin sabihin, ito, dito pala papasok yung diadaldal ko kanina sa number 2. No? So pwede natin sabihin that, uh, ito, pwede natin gamitin ito. Ayan. So TT is equal to, pi over 2 td or 1.5708 td so big sabihin pala no si 14 and half degree pressure angle halos pwede mo siyang basis no sa lahat ng formulas no kasi kahit i-derive mo without using the amount of 14.5 degrees you will uh, arrive at the same formulas so pwede nating sabihin 1.5708 
divided by 4 and that will be 0.3927. So the answer obviously is letter B. And guys, ito ah, remind ko lang sa inyo. Look at the A, B, C, D choices. Halos same sila ng mga numbers. So maaaring nakuha mo si 3927 kaso na-overwhelm na -overwhelm ka. Ang basa mo kay A is 0.3927 which is 0.3297 siya. And siya na bilogan. So always be careful talagang kailangan alert ka din lagi. It doesn't, uh, it, it's not enough to know or to memorize all the formulas. No, at that time of the exam naman mismo, ay eh, bangag ka. Okay? So sa number 4 na tayo, So sa number 4, an internal gear is set up with a 5 inches diameter pinion at a center distance of 18 inches. Find the diameter of the annular gear. So dito guys, huwag kayong malilito. Kapag sinabing internal gear, no, kung ito yung uh, diam big diameter na gear, so ibig sabihin nasa loob siya. So ang center distance niya is not the average. Okay, so don't use this. Kapag sinabing internal gear, ang center distance is the difference of two gears and just divided by two. Okay? So kung merong center distance daw na 18 inches, so ang hinanap is the annular gear. So ang internal gear, meaning, ibig sabihin, mas maliit. So ibig sabihin, ang nawawala ay yung mas malaki. So we're looking for the uh, greater diameter. So db minus 5 inches, ang sabi dito, diameter pinions, divide 2. So that was 18 times 2, 36 plus 5, 41. So answer is 41 inches. Okay. Okay, ayun. Obviously, the answer is letter D. Okay, so 5. Medyo mahaba itong 5. Kasi sa choices pa lang, meron na siyang dalawa. Okay, so we're, we're going to answer this one. So ang sabi, a machine is made to eight diametrical pitch spark gears to be mounted at a center distance of 10 inches with the SR, SR mean speed ratio of 7 is to 9. So determine the number of teeth in each gear. Okay, so unahin natin muna si speed ratio. So ang sabi, speed ratio is uh, 7 is to 9. Okay, so meaning, ibig sabihin niyan, yung 7, syempre, mas maliit. That was the diameter of the smaller one. And this 9 is the diameter of the larger gear or the gear. Ito si pinion, ito si gear. So that palang, umpisa palang DP and DG na ginamit ko. No? Pero it doesn't matter. Dalawa lang naman laging involved na diameter, kundi malaki, eh, uh, maliit. Okay. So, DA over DB. So, meaning si DB pa din ating sabihin na uh, DB is equal to 9 over 7 ng mas mali. Okay. So, meron naman din tayong given na diametrical pitch. Parehas ng diametrical pitch. PD is equal to 8. So, that was PDA is equal to PDB. Yan, parehas silang A. Okay? So, lista lang natin unti-unti. At meron din tinatawag na 10 inches na center distance. So, walang sinabi internal gear. So, use the usual gear setup, which is the average of the two diameters is your center distance. So, meaning DA plus DB is equal to uh, 10 inches ito. So, that was 2 times 10, 20. So meron na tayong isang relationship dito at isang relationship dito. So parang sa number 3 lang kanina. Tama ba? 3 or 4? Basta yung kanina. No? So ibig sabihin, if DB is equal to 9 over 7 DA, pwede natin siyang ipasok dito. DA plus 9 over 7 DA is equal to 20 inches, meaning DA is... 9 over 7 plus 1, 20, divide yung answer nun. So that was 8.75 inches si pinion gear 
and the gear is 8.75 times 9 over 7. So that was 11.25 inches. So pag plusin mo siya, that was 20 divided to 10 inches on center distance. So these figures is correct. But we are looking for the number of teeth. So how are we going to do this? We all know that the diametral pitch, diametral pitch is different from pitch diameter. So be careful. We all know that TD is the ratio of the thickness over the diameter. So kunin muna natin si PDA. So the number of teeth will be, so PDA is also equivalent to 8. That was TA over DA. So that was 8.75, meaning TA is 8 times 8.75. So that was 70 teeth. And of course, TB is, uh, since uh, this is, so si TB, pwede natin sabihin na, also, it is equivalent to 8. Yung PD niya is equal to PDB. Diba? Kanina sinabi natin dito. So, that was TB over 11.25. So, 11.25 times 8. So, that was 90. So, the number of teeth is 70 and 90. For pinion and gear respectively. So, obviously, the answer is 70 and 90. Pero makikita nyo naman, be careful nyo dito guys. Dito naman pwede nyo makita agad ang sagot by getting the ratio of these two, uh, the two values of each choices. So, matik, 70 over 90 is 7 over 9. So, dito malalayo yan. Pero, tignan natin itong 112 and 144. So, that also equivalent to 7 and 9. So, kung talagang rush kayo sa pagsagot, dito kayo mga hula, C and D. Pero be careful if you have enough time to solve of course, uh, solve it. Kung nakawa niya na may 70 kanina rito, no need to take the 90 kasi may 70 na rito. Wala namang 70 sa ibang choices. So, choose the letter C. Okay, so that was for number 5. So, we have the number 6 here. Spar pinion rotates at 1,800 RPM and transmit to a mating gear of 30 horsepower. The pitch diameter is 4 inches and the angle of obliquity is 14 one half degrees. Determine the tangential force of the gear in pounds. So we all know that the tangential force is equal to 2T over D. So no need to use the graph of the 14 and 1. We just need to get the torque and the diameter. Ang sabi naman, merong pitch diameter na 4 inches. And again, be careful, pitch diameter is not equivalent to diameteral pitch. So meaning meron na tayo agad 4 inches dito. And our torque should be in pounds inch kasi hinahanap na tangential force in pounds. And we all know that torque here is in pounds inch. And ang diameter mo is pounds. Uh, rather, inches. So, cancels inches. Parang kang force in pounds. Okay? So, what is the torque first? Siyempre, kapag may torque, marang power. So, andyan papasok yung walang kamatay na power is equal to product of the torque in the speed over some constants. And since this is an English question unit, English unit question. Siyempre lahat naman ng tanong is English. But the unit is not. So this is an English unit question. So TN over 63,025. Basta ang torque mo is in pounds inch. Palit ulit tayo, no? N is in RPM and power is in horsepower. So ganun kung pinapahalagahan, no? Ang um, bawat detalye. Kailang ulit-ulitin talaga para mas ma-retain sa utak natin. And since merong power na sakto in, is in HP, so we have a torque in pounds inch na hahanapin. So meron din tayong 1.8 RPM divided by some constant of 63,025. So our torque will become 30 times 63,025 divided by 1.8. So that will be 1,050. 0.42, sakto na natin, pounds inch, meaning our tangential force is 2, uh, two times 1,050, 0.42 divided by 4 inches, so that will be, basically it is the half of the 1,060, kasi 2 over 4, so that was 5 to 5.2. 
5.21 pounds. 5.25.21 pounds. And obviously, the answer is... Square ko lang answer kanina dito. Obviously, the answer is ayan, letter A. 525.21 pounds. Okay, so we're done from the last two questions. So this is all about, obviously, about helical gears. So number seven. Ah. Ang awit, no? Okay, a pair of meshing helical gears has a diametral pitch of five. Again, ah, diametral pitch. So underline na natin sa helical. And diametral pitch of five. And a normal normal circular pitch of 0.55 inches. So determine the helix angle. Okay, so we're looking for the helix angle. And we all know that the PC and or normal circular pitch is equivalent to the product of circular pitch times the cosine of the helix angle. Meaning cosine of the helix angle is the ratio of the circular pitch, your normal circular pitch over the circular pitch. And we all know that the normal, normal circular pitch is already given, which is 0.55 inches. So malalaman lang natin si helix angle kapag may nakuha tayong circular pitch. Kaso walang circular pitch. Pero alam natin that PC times PD is equal to pi. So PC is equal to pi over PD and we have this pi over 5 and that was uh, 0.628 3 inches. So that will be cosine of helix angle is 0.55 divided by 0.6283. So tama itong tina tinatahak nating landas kasi the denominator should be greater than the numerator in order for us to get a positive angle which is the helix angle. So that was 0.55 divided by 0.6283 cosine nun. So that was 28.91 degrees. So, meron ba siya sa choices? So, that will be... Ayun, letter D. 28.9 degrees Celsius. Degrees. Walang Celsius. Okay, we're down to the last question of this part one of the gears. Two meshing helical gears have a 30 degree helix angle. Lagyan na nga natin. 30 degree helix angle. Helical gears. And a 0.5 inches normal circular pitch. So that was PCN. The number of teeth is 15 and 45. Sabi natin TA is 15 and TB is 45. Yung 5 natin mo on 3, no? Talagang sa engineering, ang 5 at 3, magkaano yun, no? Ang kamukha, eh. <laughs> Okay. 5 and 5. The number of teeth is 15.45. That I mean the center distance. Okay. So, tignan natin kung medyo mahirap ito. Center distance, we all know it is the average of the two diameters, of course. So, wala tayong dalawang diameter. And we are looking for the center distance. How we're going to do this? Ano kaya pwede nating hanapin? Okay, we all know that the circular pitch has a formula of pi d over t. Kagaya nga sabi ko kanina, basta kabisado mo yung spar, medyo maiintindihan mo si helical. So you can use the basic formulas, uh, except lang dun sa ibang formula ng forces, pero medyo kamukha rin naman. So you can use the circular pitch of pi d over t na formula pa rin sa helical gears. No, kaso wala rin siyang PC. So, paano natin makukuha si diameter? Sayang o kasi may number uh, of teeth na dito eh. Kung may diameter lang sana, kuha na si circular pitch. Or kung may circular pitch man sana given, kuha na si diameter. 
But we all know that we have this PCN. PCN is equal to PC times cosine of the helix angle. And we all know that PCN is 0.5 inches is equal to PC multiplied by the cosine of the helix angle, meaning the, that was 30 degrees. So meaning PC is equivalent to 0.5 divided by cosine 30. So that was 0.577 inches. Okay, so makukuha na natin diameter. So ibig sabihin point. Pas mad na talaga no 0.577 inches is equal to pi times diameter. So kunin mo natin si A divided by TA which is 15. So our DA is times 15 divided by pi. So that was 2.75 inches, 7566 inches to be exact. So we have this DA na and we're looking for DB na lang. Okay. So saan natin pwedeng kunin si DB? DB. So saan natin pwedeng kunin si DB? Okay. So meron tayong number of teeth which is 15 and 45. So pwede natin kunin yung uh, diameter. So if this is 15, pero nat pwede natin ikunin yung ratio niya as NTA times DA is equal to NTB times DB. Okay, so if this is 15, number of teeth din to, ah, wag mandili to, lagyan na lang natin ng N. So that was 15 times DA. Tama ba? Parang balik ta data. No, no. In getting the ratio, kailangan... Ah, okay. Way back on our first slide na may formulas, we all know that the speed diameter relation and speed teeth relation, pwede tayo, so, so sa ano muna tayo? Sa RPM. So NADA is equal to NBDB, meaning DA over DB is equal to NB over NA. Pero meron din tayong relationship ng teeth and RPM which is NA, NTA is equal to NB, NTB. Meaning si NB over NA para maging kamukha nito, NB over NA should be equivalent to NTA over NTB. Tama? Okay, tama. So pwede nyo mong sabihin na DA over DB equal to NTA over NTB. Right? Tama ba? NADA. NTA over NTB is equal to NB over NA. So that was so that was 15 over 45. Okay, yun. DA over DB, so that was 2.7566 inches over DB is equal to NTA, which is 15, divided by 45. So our DB will become 8.27 inches. So perfect. I think this is the right place or the right answer. So C is equal to DA, which is 2.7566 plus 8.27. Divide lang natin ng 2. So our center distance up. Si slide ay sumusuko na. So that was 2.7566 plus 8.27 divide 2. So that was 5.51 inches. 
ayun, nakapag-drive pa tayo ng bago. No? Yung relationship ng ngipin tsaka diameter. Pwede pala yun. So, the center distance is 5.51 inches. And obviously, that was the third. Okay, so we have enough for the part one of the gear. So, ang natitira lang natin is worm and bevel, which is medyo mas komplikado. Pero mas talagang normal tiyatanong sa board exam is the spar gears and the helical gears. Okay, so ayun. Sana guys, may natutunan tayo sa ating... May natutunan kayo sa aking... Uh, presentation at sa ating review. So, August na yung board. I hope medyo makahabol pa tayo. So, we have the two remaining videos. So, machine design which is the bearings at yung rivets and welds. So, baka pagsamahin ko na lang yung rivets and welds kasi bira namang itanong yan. Tapos, konti lang talaga yung nakikita kong reviewers na may yung ganyang question. So, ayun lang. Thank you ulit sa Paikinag. See you on our next video for the gears which is for helical and uh, Or rather, which is for warm and bevel. Thank you sa pakikinig. God bless, guys. Bye-bye.